external features of the heart well in this section we will talk about the the major surfaces borders the base and the apex of the heart and then uh, in the next part we will move on to the interior of the heart talking mainly about the interior of right atrium and right ventricle uh to understand the external features of heart let's draw a very uh, simple and schematic picture for that so let's say this here is the right border the vertical right border of the heart here is the inferior border the apex and the left border as we know superior vena cava and the inferior vena cava they are entering along the right border only into right atrium so this this clearly here this is the right atrium that is the superior vena cava and the inferior vena cava which lies along the right border only this let's say is the coronary sulcus which is a demarcation between the the atrium and the ventricle so this here is a right atrium and below we have ventricle so this is the right ventricle so you can see the major part of right atrium and right ventricle from the anterior surface or the sternocostal surface you can see part of left ventricle along the left border and left border is also made up of not by the right atrium but by the extension of the left atrium called as left auricle so you will see the extension of the le uh, left atrium extending along the left border that is called as a left auricle that is left auricle not atrium that's auricle <clears throat> so talking about the surfaces uh, uh, the borders here so i can clearly say that the right border of the heart and guys we are not talking about the cardiac shadow if we say right cardiac shadow then we have to include the superior and the inferior vena cava also we'll just talking about the right border of the heart so right border of the heart is just by the right atrium inferior border inferior border or the lower border predominantly it is by the right ventricle predominantly by the right ventricle but it is also having a contribution from the left ventricle a small part by the left ventricle also left border of the heart predominantly is by the left ventricle and it is contributed a little by the left auricle in the upper part so this first thing that is about the borders here the right border that is about by the right atrium alone inferior border is by the right ventricle and left ventricle these are the kind of thing you have to remember from the pictures only from the diagram itself if i simply say what tell you the border of the uh, right border left border inferior border of the heart it is a bit difficult to uh, imagine but once you draw it it's very easy to uh, comprehend that which chamber is contributing to what border here and the superior border which i'm not marking here the superior border is an oblique border again which is mainly by the the right and the left atrium mainly by the left atrium base of the heart base is what surface base is the posterior surface base is not the diaphragmatic surface this is not the base here the base of the heart is on the posterior surface and base is contributed by the right atrium along with the left atrium both right and left atrium are forming the base in which left atrium contributes to the two third of the base and right atrium contributes only one third you can see the majority of the right atrium can be seen from the front so only we have some part of right atrium behind but i cannot see any part of left atrium from the front because it is only left auricle can be seen so major part of the left left atrium is present behind and that is the one contributing to the base so they they, they did ask this question even once that base is by uh, what chamber they asked the ratio that how much part is by the right atrium and how much by the left atrium so two third is by the left atrium and this here we have the apex well without a doubt apex is just by the left ventricle it is by the left ventricle and the location of the apex is very important for the apical beat the apex of the heart lies in the left fifth intercostal space it is present in the left fifth intercostal space 9 cm away from sternum or you can say just lateral to mid clavicular line you can say lateral to mid clavicular line or you can say 9 cm away from the sternum so that's the location for the or that's the surface marking for the apex left fifth intercostal space 9 cm away from the sternum so guys this is a bit about the surfaces and the the base and the apex of the heart 
the two chambers that we'll be discussing in the next part will be the right atrium so we'll be discussing the detail of the interior of the right atrium and then we'll close the right atrium and we'll look into the the right ventricle also so first let's start with the interior of the right atrium <laughs>